Hey, what's going on guys? How's everyone doing today? I'm doing well, thank you for asking. Well, I got a little road trip I'm taking. About 35 minutes out of town. Might be getting something. You never know. Or maybe you do. Well, let me go over here first and pay this guy for mowing my yard. Shall I? can't film of course while I'm going down the road I don't want to get in trouble and do something stupid so ah, that's why it's not getting cool <laughs> let me turn the air on sheesh so anyway we'll uh, see you whenever we get a little closer guys here I am in the car I didn't want to film while I was out there because uh, the homeowner was was uh, out there so and uh, he helped me kind of get stuff situated but look what I got I got a Smith machine <sighs> he said that it was a he got it and it was at the kept it at the firehouse where he worked for like 30 years and It's been on Marketplace for a little while. I've seen it on Marketplace for a while, and I've kind of reached out to him about it before. And I was like, man, I wish you wouldn't keep that outdoors. Don't keep that outdoors. <laughs> Just, you know, striking up conversation. And uh, and eventually, you know, I kept going to it and looking and looking and looking. And I've looked at regular racks, and I've had a regular rack before and all that. And so I've kind of been there and done it. And... Uh, if it was a regular, normal, everyday rack, half rack, I'd be perfectly happy because, you know, yeah. And, uh, but it's a uh, Smith machine and it is a pretty decent quality one as well. It's got little tiny ball bearings in the uh, sleeves that go over the guide rods uh, inside, you know, the holes that where the guide rods are. It's got little tiny ball bearings instead of just like a plastic sleeve or metal on metal or you know something like that but uh yeah i'll get it home get it cleaned up and uh we'll touch base from there of course i had to dismantle it to get it in here unfortunately but it's all good guys all right we'll see you I just brought all that in by myself. That was not easy. All right, I'm gonna go eat and I may put it together tonight. So all this has gotta be rearranged. This can be a tight fit guys, that's what she said. We'll see you in the next video.
I mean, that ain't putting me out at all. We don't have to see this for a minute. I'm gonna just tighten all these bolts up real quick and then we'll uh, get the uh, bar in that going. How about that? So right now I've got to climb up here and undo this bolt, undo this bolt. These will fall this way and it allowed me to put the bar on the guide rods. So let's get that done. I think first I'm going to clean the insides and maybe put some fresh grease in there. No, I got it. Well, as you can see, that was a situation. Now, put on the weight horns. In here, it'll be good to go. Let's get that done.
And there you go. All done. Let's see. Look here. Let's take a look, see if we can. And there's just enough room too. It's got weight horns on both sides. The guide rods are a little scratched, you know, a little marred up. But, you know. Now I have no idea what brand it is. There's no stickers, badge or nothing on it. There's just a warning label down on the bottom. So I have no idea what brand it even is. But I got it at a pretty good price. It's been on the marketplace forever. And I've looked at it and looked at it and looked at it and looked at it. And I wasn't sure if I really wanted to get a Smith machine. But I went ahead and said, what the heck? So, uh, yeah. So it is what it is. I'm going to use it. It's a part of my arsenal. As you can tell, I'm going to be able to do uh, a little bit of some benching. It's not the same as free weight benching that I'm so used to, or used to be used to, but that's going to be good. And I can do squats and I can do shrugs and I could probably do one arm pulls. I mean, you can do all kind of little weird stuff with this thing. So it uh, should be pretty good. Uh, I thought that it was uh, more vertical. I thought it was a complete 90 degree, you know, angle straight up and down, but it actually does tilt back just a bit. But that should be all right anyway. Um, so I'm pretty excited to get to use it. Yeah, I'm packed pretty full in here now. As you can tell, uh, I got to get all this kind of situated. Got my high-low tower right there and my leg sled there. Grease. Grease is the word. I cleaned out the inside of these cups just a little bit. Just got a towel down in there as best I could and then put a little grease in there on, on uh, both, through both ends and uh, both sides. And uh, yeah, I think I'm pretty... Uh, maxed out here in this little gym so anyway guys hope you enjoyed that uh, i hope you get to see some videos with me using it i'm sure you will <sighs> good price uh i'll go ahead and tell you um i got it for 125 dollars i probably could have got it for 100 but i didn't want to get too greedy so i so i talked them down I think it was uh, 175, maybe. I think it was 175, and uh, I told them I'd give them 125, and they said sure. So it was just sitting outside doing nothing, sitting outside. So anyway, all right, guys, I'm out of here. I'm tired. I've been doing this stuff for a while now. So thanks for watching. Don't forget like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff to Mikey's and TV. Go check out the playlist. You're going to find all kind of cool stuff in there from this to that and this and that and that, this, 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 that, that, that. Anyway, lots of stuff, okay? Don't forget, guys. Get up, get out, get red, and do it, do it. We'll see y'all later. On Mikey Sun TV. Get up, get out, get ran, and do it, do it!